With Elon Musk announcing that his Neuralink company is ready to start human trials for its Neuralink chips, there's no better time to learn about this technology and why it is making waves. Elon Musk claims that the technology will not only be beneficial to everyday people. The billionaire entrepreneur claims that one of Neuralink's driving goals is developing a way to help people with disabilities. For instance, our current medical technology does not have solutions for people who, through accident, have lost control of their cerebellum, which essentially controls movement. Elon Musk claims that with this technology, people with disabilities or other related diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease can simply regain mobility functions by thinking of the action. So not only is Elon Musk proposing that by using this chip, we might be able to turn people with disabilities into becoming superhumans in the literal sense. But he's also implying that we might not be very far away from actually living the realities of most sci-fi movies. So you can decide to play a shooter game on your computer without even touching the computer, or you choose to reply to a friend's text on your smartphone without tapping the keyboard. Interestingly, all you'll have to do is get the Neuralink chip installed in your brain. Before we go on to the implication of getting this implant, what even is this Neuralink? Founded in 2016 by Elon Musk, Neuralink is a company working to build a brain chip interface that allows humans to control computers simply by using their brains. Thanks to its group of engineers, the company has developed a high bandwidth, low latency technology based on tiny electrodes implanted into the brain. These electrodes interact with the neurons in real time for several functions. The Neuralink chip is a microchip powered by artificial intelligence capable of reading and recording brain activity. It is widely regarded as one of the leading solutions to help people with disabilities become more independent by allowing them to move, communicate, and interact appropriately. But that's not all. At the current development stage of the Neuralink chip, it is only expected to grant people the implant ability to use their brain to control any device with AI. That was just a short overview of what to expect from the chip, although that's not its only function. The Neuralink chip is tiny, making it nearly undetectable once it is surgically implanted. Interestingly, the surgical procedure is relatively fast and doesn't involve using an anesthetic because not much blood is expected during the implant. The chip contains a lot of tiny wires, which Neuralink claims are 20 times thinner than a strand of her hair. Once installed, the tiny wires making up the chip integrate with the human brain so that the electrodes they carry can stimulate the brain. The data registered through this stimulation can wirelessly be transferred to a host computer so further studies can be carried out. Despite the claims from Neuralink about the chip's potential, there have been several claims that most of these functions, the chip is said to have been nothing more than a marketing gimmick. This was even technically backed up by Musk, who was quoted by saying, we want to be extremely careful and certain that it'll work well before putting a device into a human. The truth is that Neuralink have been working extensively to ensure the chip delivers on every promise the company has publicly made. Since the company was established in 2016, it has devoted all its resources to developing the chip. Before the public announcement that human trials for the chip were set to begin, the company had completed several successful tests on animals. The first notable successful test trial was when the chip was installed in pigs. The company released a video showing Musk demonstrating how the chip affects the behavior of pigs. In the video, three pigs were studied. They were named Joyce, Gertrude, and Dorothy to better monitor their behavior in response to the chip. Joyce was given no implant, so the reactions of an average pig can be observed. Dorothy used to have an implant, but it was successfully removed to demonstrate that the chips can be removed after implanting. Gertrude, however, got all the attention. Having only had the chip implanted for two months, a real-time report of her brain activity was transmitted to a live audience thanks to the 1,024 electrodes in the chip implanted in her brain. This brain activity was shared on a screen. At several intervals, beeps can heard from the screen, which must explain as when Gertrude's brain was stimulated by the environment. These intervals corresponded to every time Gertrude sniffed her surroundings through her snout. The second major successful test trial was on money, which scientists claim is the ideal test subject to observe how a mammal will react to a specific test. In fact, over 70,000 monkeys are used for research purposes in the United States alone. In the second public trial video, a money named Pager was seen playing a game only with this. Considering it's almost impossible to get a monkey to play a game with its hands, the fact that Pager could play the game telepathically caused a lot of exciting reactions. 
Neuralink further explained that Pager has not one but two chips implanted in its motor cortex, explaining how the monkey could play the game. The company claimed that Pager had only one implant to begin with and was forced to use a joystick with its brain to play the game. But thanks to the chip implanted in its brain, his neuron activity was fed into a decoder algorithm which was programmed into the second chip that was installed into the Pager's brain. Strangely, despite the incredible success of the Neuralink chip implants of the monkeys, the company has come under fire for its alleged proper treatment of the test monkeys. In fact, on November 30, 2022, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine called on Elon Musk to release confidential information about the treatment of the monkey. The committee claims that some of the monkeys had suffered internal bleeding, among other psychological health issues. So can we trust that these chips are safe to even begin human trials? Undoubtedly, the surgical procedure for getting the chip implant is very invasive. Surgeons will have to drill a hole in the subject's skull to insert the device so it can integrate with the brain tissue. Fortunately, this procedure can easily be covered up by natural hair growth or simply by wearing a cap or wig. Also, earlier this year, the company released a statement that it had carried out several successful attempts that involved removing the implanted chips from the brains of the monkeys used in the second stage of the trials. The company said, Neuralink's working well in monkeys and we're actually doing just a lot of testing and just confirming that it's very safe and reliable and the Neuralink device can be removed safely. So the company acknowledges that not everybody might like the Neuralink chip once installed and has made several efforts to ensure that anyone not interested in having the chip after implantation can get it removed. But when can we expect these human trials to begin? In a recent event where Neuralink technology was being discussed, Musk was quoted saying, We think probably in about six months, we should be able to have a Neuralink installed in a human. Musk has also publicly announced that when the Neuralink chip implant trials begin, he will get one of the demos implanted. He added that the delay in starting human trials was because Neuralink holds itself to an even higher standard than the FDA stipulates. He says, Obviously, we want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device in a human, but we've submitted, I think, most of our paperwork to the FDA. Of course, this is not the first time Elon Musk's companies will have to wait for approval from the FDA to launch their devices or products. And since there's no approval yet, many people and experts wonder why Elon Musk announced that the company is ready to proceed with human trials. Expressing her skepticism, Shin Chen, an assistant professor in the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine, told CNBC, Neuralink is a company that doesn't have to answer to shareholders. I don't know how much oversight is involved, but I think it's very important for the public to always keep in mind that, before anything has been approved by the FDA or any governmental regulatory body, all claims need to be very, very skeptically examined. There is no point denying that Elon Musk has been the sole investor in Neuralink. But considering Tesla's founder does not settle for mediocrity, many people believe the company's claims about the cognitive improvements the Neuralink chip offers might be genuine after all. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of our other videos and support us by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.